I'm Jade. And I'm Kare. And we're from Kim Power. Today, we're gonna go on a little road trip to go check out some of our chargers at another charging station. So let's go. Where are we going today, Kari? Today, we are heading to uh, Rihimäki, and mm -hmm. there is this great place for lunch, uh, Ullanpaakari. Okay. About how far away is it? Uh, it's around uh, 55 kilometers, according to Google Maps. So okay. let's believe on that. There's a good uh, recharge charging point there, so we can have some more electricity. Sounds good. So let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. So what kind of car are we driving in today? Oh, well, this uh, car is a Tesla Model 3, uh, long range. And, uh, this is the facelift model, which means the uh, battery capacity is uh, 75 kilowatt hours. Okay, so how much range do you typically have on this car? Uh, well, the full battery charge range for this car is 580 kilometers. Also during winter and uh, driving in the city, it's far over 350. How long have you been an EV driver? Uh, well, I got this car, uh, the battery electric vehicle, uh, on September. Before this car, I had a uh, plug-in hybrid, which is basically also uh, one sort of EV. And, and that one I had for two years. Okay. I'd say the performance, maybe, that's still the nicest thing for me. How, you know, rapid uh, acceleration is and so on. Although you don't need that uh, in everyday driving, but there, any, anyway, I. I like it. <laughs> nice, good. What do you wish someone would have told you about EVs? Everybody were only focusing for what could be negative, you know, that uh, for how long is the range and so on. Uh, how does it perform during winters? But uh, uh, I wish somebody had told me that this is actually a great winter car. I've learned that this is definitely better to drive during winter than uh, ICE. Okay. Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. Very nice to yeah. hear. All right, so now we arrived at the charging station, so let's charge a bit. The recharge has this quite nice QR code app, so I read the QR code there and it's telling me the instructions how to proceed, so I'll just plug in, connect and swipe to start. Usually in charging stations you have options like for an application or then the RFID tag at the payment terminal or as the recharge has the drop-in card payment online which is the one I'm going to use now. Now our uh, car is uh, starting uh, the charge. I'll also take uh, Campower's charge IQ or code with me so we can check the charging state as well. We are inside. I'll scan the QR code from the screen and it scans really easily and I see the status now and I can then follow it while inside. All right, but uh, let's get inside and have some lunch now. So right now we're sitting at Ulan Bakkeri, which is a bakery, restaurant and um, coffee shop. And we're charging the EV out at the public EV charging station. But where do you typically charge during the week? Well, mostly myself, I charge uh, at home and at work. Uh, we have obviously quite good uh, facilities for charging at work as well. So how often would you say you are at public charging stations? Always when I'm going further somewhere that the uh, battery is just not enough when I charge it at home. Mm. And uh, sometimes also now during the energy crisis, I have uh, checked that uh, sometimes it's uh, cheaper to charge at the public station than at home. So. Let's check the charging status now. I took the QR code and uh, this is Kempower's own charge eye, which I actually prefer myself mm -hmm. rather than the car's own application. Uh, it shows me quite fascinating data. So the speed we are now charging with is uh, 46 kilowatts and it says that the car is limiting. Now it's quite cold uh, outside and therefore the car is uh, warming up the battery. It takes like seven minutes till 80 and 20 minutes till 100. And we can also check the charging curve. This is for all the uh, EV enthusiasts. Now 
a little bit about you. What's your job at Empower and what do you do? My title is Operations Planning Manager. Uh, I help our sales and our customers with my team to get the correct shipping dates for uh, their products and we try to uh, utilize our factory uh, as fully as possible all the time because the demand is extra mm. high for our chargers. So that's in a nutshell hmm. what my team is doing. Okay, nice. did you start using the chargers first or did you start working at Kimpower first? Uh, I guess I started using them first and our chargers are quite popular. So I definitely was a uh, user first. They are really reliable in my mind. I've never actually had a situation that I wasn't able to charge hmm. from our charger. And also the Charge Eye application is really convenient mm. in my mind. Yeah. You get interesting data out of it and so on. Hmm. A lot of our Kimpowerians, fellow Kimpower colleagues, drive EVs. Um, how do you feel about the EV driver community at uh, work? I guess we are quite uh, an active community there. And uh, we do share a lot of uh, insights uh, about charging, especially. <laughs> in our inner channels. Mm. So I think we have an active uh, EV driver community. Yes. All right, uh, it looks like the charging is done at 89%, which is my charging limit for my Tesla. So uh, I'll go unplug it. All I had to do was press stop and unplug the charger. All right, uh, now we're done with the charging. Uh, we have plenty of power to get back to our headquarters in Lahti. Yes, thank you so much for bringing me along with you on this trip to Ulaanbaatar to try out the Kim Power chargers here, operated by Recharge. And if you want to know more about our reliable charging solutions, check out our website kimpower.com, and make sure to check out this video next. See you next time. See ya.